Hey guys, Kevin Canning, owner of Pearls of Joy, and today we're doing a comparison. We have a strand from Pearls of Joy, direct-to-consumer pearl jewelry, versus one of the big name luxury retailers. So you probably recognize the box already. It's a very famous company. The only jewelry company that has a movie named after them. Um, great company, actually. I'm a big fan, um, but this is traditional, high-end luxury retail versus Pearls of Joy, direct-to-consumer pearls. So. What we did, we spent $500 with the big guys. Um, this is a freshwater pearl necklace, spent $500 US. And then with Pearls of Joy, we also want to do the same type of pearl. So it's a freshwater pearl. This is our gem grade freshwater pearl. It's actually $335. This size was $335. The size up was $599. We didn't think that would be fair. So we said, hey, let's stack the chips in favor of the big guys. And uh, we'll do $335 Pearls of Joy and $500 with high-end luxury retail. So let's start with the big guys. Let's see what's in the box and then we'll do a comparison. So the box is nice. I'm a big fan. I love the color. Um, it feels good. feels like a nice box. I mean, it's just a cardboard box, but you know, it's nicely done. And inside you have a pouch. Um, it's just sitting in there on a little bit of foam. Um, so you've got a nice pouch. I think it's leather. Yeah, it feels like real leather. So, so that's nice, nice little storage pouch. Um, We'll take a look at the pearls. So first impressions, these are really small. So I'll, I'll zoom in. You probably can't see from, from this distance, but these are maybe five millimeters, um, which is really small. We actually don't carry pearls this small. Um, this is typically the size that I would suggest for maybe a child, you know, and I'm not being cheeky when I say that. I mean, these are quite small. So for an adult woman, most would find this to be really underwhelming. Um, I will say this, the quality is really nice. So these are quite round, near round shape. Um, luster is good. Um, not seeing really any imperfections, but these are really small pearls. So, you know, you, you'd really have to get in close to, to have a look at them. Um, so first impression, matching is good. Quality is good. Size. I don't know how practical this is for, uh, for an adult woman to wear, but uh, you know, that's $500 at the big name guys. Overall, nice pearls. This is, yeah, I can tell this book. I mean, that's a 16 inch strand, which, you know, again, is gonna be quite short for most women. That's a choker, but um, you know, there you have it. That's the big name luxury guys, put that there. Here we have, we spent $335 with Pearls of Joy, direct to consumer. It's just a totally different business model. So um, I already know, I mean, there, there's gonna be a big difference here, guys. And uh, there we go. So let's pull these out of the box. I mean, we have just a very basic box. It's a nice velvet lined box. Um, there's nothing terribly fancy about it, but it's perfectly nice. This is, uh, you know, we, we use this box all the time. Um, it, it's a nice place to store it and it looks good. But more importantly is what's in the box, not what the box looks like. And here we have 7.5 to 8 millimeter gem grade freshwater pearls. So these are eye round. I mean, you could look and maybe see a little bit of variation in shape, but these are pretty darn close to perfectly round. Very nice luster, nice color, perfectly matched. I'm not seeing any variation in color here. Um, nice white body color with a little slight rosy cream overtone. So these are very nice pearls. Um, I mean, just huge compared to um, the other strand. So you can see um, very, I mean, that's a huge difference. These are, are gonna be more appropriate for, um, you know, for a grown one. Most, most women would, would appreciate this size a little bit better. But there you have it. We'll zoom in, let's have a close look, but these are, $335 from direct-to-consumer pearl jewelry company, Pearls of Joy, versus $500 at the big name luxury retailer. 